What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. From some grown up moments in the successful reboot to kissing scenes and bitter revenge, here are the most paused iCarly moments. Just a fair warning spoilers ahead. Team Sadi. Sam and Freddy had a fair share of incredible moments throughout the series, but none as incredible as the one you're about to see. Remember when Freddy revealed that he has never kissed a girl? Well, Sam was eavesdropping, and since she wanted revenge on him for some prank he did earlier, she revealed Freddy's secret on the web show. This was a pretty intense storyline because after his secret was revealed, Freddy got teased by everyone, literally everyone. This is where Sam tells everyone that she hasn't had her first kiss as well. Near the end of the episode, one of the most incredible moments followed when Sam and Freddy kissed. No wonder it's one of the most paused moments from the entire show. What did you guys think of it? Let us know before we continue with the fan favorite moment that includes Chuck. Well, that was, um... Nice. Yeah, nice, uh... Work. Now you're grounded, monkey. From heartbreaking storylines that we can't get over to jokes that are still used and have become memes, iCarly had it all. Now we're all familiar with Chuck. He is a person fond of playing pranks and he is not really great at respecting authority. In one episode of the original show, Chuck is grounded because of Spencer. A bit later, Spencer gets stuck in the basement storage unit. Being unable to get out, Spencer tries to ask for help. The thing is, it's Chuck that finds him. Not one of us expected to see Chuck helping Spencer, but we also didn't expect him to lock Spencer inside the storage unit. Oh, he also takes his keys and phone. This scene is one of the most paused scenes in the entire show, but most fans also love the part where Spencer yells that Chuck is evil. Hilarious. Carly is all grown up. Can you guys believe that the first episode of the original show aired in 2007? Yeah, we were shocked as well. It's been 15 years since the show introduced us to Miranda Cosgrove and Nathan Kress. Honestly, the two of them look amazing in the Paramount Plus reboot of the popular series as they haven't changed at all. Now, the reboot was proven to be a major success, unlike most reboots and remakes nowadays, which lack originality, but viewers find it challenging to get used to seeing Carly and her friends in their 20s. After all, they were all 13 when the original show premiered. The biggest difference between the reboot and the original show is, without a doubt, the language. The reboot is filled with grown-up conversation and phrases. These grown-up moments became so popular that fans turn them into memes. Here is one of the most popular pause moments from the reboot. Carly's BFSS, best friend since Sam, Harper, a character played by Lacey Mosley, is the new addition to the story. And she's such a great character that it didn't take long for fans to include her in the fan favorite list. In one episode, she walks in on Freddy helping Carly get out of her bunny costume. Oh, y'all doing like a furry thing? She asks. Don't worry, I'm not here to kink shame your fursona, she asks. Which Harper moments are your favorite? Don't forget to let us know. Ooh, y'all doing like a furry thing. Yep. No. <laughs> Don't worry. King shame your I saved your life. This episode where Sam and Freddy kiss is called I Kiss, and the episode that gave birth to Team Creddy is called I Saved Your Life. After what seemed like a decade, viewers finally saw a kiss between Carly and Freddy. When Carly saved Carly's life, she fell in love with him, but she later confessed about whether she really loves him or she just loved the unselfish good deed he did for her. Nevertheless, the moment they kiss entered the list of the most paused moments from the original show. Also, did you guys know that this is Nickelodeon's most watched premiere, over 11 million viewers tuned in to watch the exciting continuation. I go One Direction. During its run, I Carly had some pretty intense guest stars. We've seen Jack Black, Emily Rachowski, and many other A-listers being included in the addictive story. Back in 2012, the world was taken by storm by a boy band named One Direction. And when this band performed on Carly and Sam's web show, well, most viewers needed to pause the moment in order to get themselves together. I meet the First Lady. We previously mentioned that there are a lot of impressive guest stars in this series. We can only imagine how difficult it was for the creators to book these actors, models, and even then the first lady of the United States. Interestingly enough, the episode in which Michelle Obama appeared was written specifically for her and her Joining Forces initiative. We all felt the need to pause the moment she first appeared on the screen. Before we continue with more amazing moments, though, make sure you smash that like button if you haven't done it already. I was a pageant girl. In this episode, viewers met a different version of Sam. In it, she 
realize that she competed in beauty pageants as a child. She then discovers that her former opponent, Leanne, has won 99 pageants in a row. Since Sam is now banned from participation, she convinces Carly to compete. The two go through a long process of Sam teaching Carly what it's like to be a beauty pageant girl, only to discover that the ban has expired and she can compete herself. Sam wins a pageant. There are a lot of incredible moments in this episode, but the episode itself is on the list of the best rated episodes on IMDb. What do you guys think of it? I Shock America The iCarly gang is all hyped up when they're invited to New York City to appear on Jimmy Fallon, but a shocking moment comes when Gibby's pants fall down while on camera, which is not really good neither for the group nor for Jimmy Fallon. The group then tries to save Fallon, saying that it's not their fault, but they end up being fined by the NCC to pay $500,000. If they don't pay this money, iCarly will be shut down. Jimmy is happy to help them, so he pays the fine and the episode gets a happy ending. Gibby carries the show. Great. Now, when I sit, I'm gonna have to put all my weight on my left buttocks. This is a quote that will live rent-free in my memory forever. Gibby is certainly one of the favorite characters from the series, and it's too bad that the actor didn't return to reprise his role in the reboot. It's been confirmed that he's not interested in coming back, so yeah, we're sorry to be the barrier of bad news, but we won't see him in the upcoming episodes. There were so many moments fans needed to pause simply because of how great the character was. As one fan wrote, I can't help but wonder how much Gibby's back must hurt from carrying the show. We would love to hear which Gibby moment is your favorite. Where is Sam? This is the one and only question fans have bothered with after seeing episode one of the reboot. It's weird, every reboot nowadays misses a character that was pretty important in the original show. Sex in the City had Samantha's departure, now fans are wondering where Sam is. Carly's best friend. In the reboot, Carly and Freddie mention the character, saying that she is following her bliss with that biker gang called the Obliberators. This mention is one of the most pause moments from the reboot. No wonder since there was a lot of fans who desperately need Sam to at least make an appearance, but if the actress chooses not to, well, we respect her decision. Pilot In the episode 1 of the original show, Carly asks to borrow Spencer's video camera so that she and her best friend can film talent show auditions, and then Spencer tells her that he turned it into a squirrel. This is perhaps the one moment that perfectly explains Spencer's personality. I Goodbye The highest rated episode in the series is the series finale. In it, fans needed to pause many moments simply because of the fact that they were saying goodbye to a TV show that we grew up with. We needed to let go of the characters we got invested in for years, and we have to say that we were pretty happy with its conclusion. Do you guys think iCarly received a proper ending? Which moments did you pause? Let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching!